One Republican leader says he believes that recall efforts will likely go forward against his three colleagues. Political reporter Jess Garp has more on the challenges in our campaign 2012 coverage. Well, all four state senators have now challenged signatures turned in against them for a number of different reasons. Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald said today he believes recalls may go forward against some senators, but he's hopeful his arguments hold up. I feel like we have a, a nice cushion. Turning in signatures in January, Lori Compass felt confident an election would happen. The day after thousands of her signatures are challenged, her sureness remains. There might be a few like that. Are there 4,000? No. But State Senator Scott Fitzgerald has turned in more than 10,000 challenges to the 20,600 signatures against him. And while he's alleging duplicates, wrong addresses, and improper certification, among others, more than half of his challenges say the signatures were collected in the wrong district. There is going to be a question raised as to whether or not the old maps that the recalls have been organized around right now are in effect after the new map is rendered constitutional. Fitzgerald told News 3 this week he believes a federal judge may uphold new districts for recalls in a February hearing. If in fact these federal judges say time out. You can't have two sets of maps. You can't have people circulating nomination papers under two different maps. Um, that could actually change the dynamics. But Compass says the GAB instructed her to use the old districts and that her signatures will hold up. The new maps don't take effect until November and they're tied up in court right now. They're tied up in federal court right now. And so there's some doubt as to whether or not those new lines will ever take effect. So it seems kind of ridiculous to me to say that we should have been collecting signatures in the new district because the new district doesn't exist yet. The petition circulators have until Tuesday to make rebuttal arguments to the petition challenges. The board has until March 19th to decide if the signatures will trigger those recall elections. Of course, the story will continue to cover. Jessica, thank you very much.